After the success of A Better Tomorrow, there were no doubts that a sequel would follow, and just a year later, in 1987, A Better Tomorrow 2 hit theaters. Chow Yun-Fat, Leslie Chung, and T. Lung all returned for the sequel, along with veteran actor Dean Sheck. A Better Tomorrow 2 takes place a few years after the first, with Ho serving time in prison for the events of the previous film. The Hong Kong police attempt to recruit Ho to go undercover and dig up dirt on his old boss Lung, but Ho will have none of it, that is, until he finds out that his younger brother Kit has been sent in his place. Released from prison, Ho heads to see his old boss, who has turned away from a life of crime, and life seems to be going good for Lung these days. Unfortunately, shadows from his past creep in, and after being accused of shooting the formal triad boss, Lung is forced to flee to New York City. After arriving in New York, Lung meets up with an old buddy who was formerly a triad and is now a priest. But after a double cross, the church is massacred. And Lung literally goes insane. Thankfully, he has some good friends in the form of Chow Yun Fat who cares for him and wheels off more attacks from those who would see him dead. Fuck you! Perhaps what makes A Better Tomorrow 2 such an iconic cult classic is its very memorable dialogue. One scene in particular that involves a mobster attempting to shake down a Chinese restaurant, where Chow Yun-Fat speaks English and basically impersonates Robert De Niro. Seriously, I am not making this up. Just watch. This fucking fried rice stinks! Holy oh, hey, what? Hey, what are you doing? Come on! Hey, 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 come no problem. I can change another for you. Ah, come, take a look at the furniture. One low fun. Hey, la. Okay, the Marcy Queen Lou. Okay, go. Bobby, your power. Hmm. I'm your protection. Oh. And now you listen to me. You will pay me a thousand dollars a month. Oh. I see. Hello. I give me nothing, man. I won't give you shit. You don't pay me. And I'll blow up your restaurant. You really mean that? You mean that? You want to blow up my restaurant? You make me so nervous. I will scare about it. <laughs> Mamma mia. You want to blow up my restaurant? <laughs> Shut up, you. What about the muffin? If you feel hungry, you come to my restaurant any time. No problem. What do you think? <laughs> hmm? What do you think? Huh? Oh, yeah. He needs some money. I got a quarter. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. What do you think? Huh? Asshole! What's the matter with you? You got a big problem? Huh? You don't like my rice? You don't like my rice? What are you talking about? Do you want to go? Do you want to go? What's wrong with the food? It is beautiful for me. 
You want to try some? No? Huh? For you. Rye is nothing. But for us. Rye just like my father and mother. Don't fuck with my family. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh. I have never heard about it. Oh. oh. I feel so with my rise. Oh. If you have any dignity, I apologize to the rice right now. Fuck your rice. Fuck off. Fuck Don't you. Fuck you. Shoot him! I'm gonna kill you! Don't move! Don't move! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop it! Open your fucking mouth and eat the rice! Eat it! Never! Sigam Gachan! Okay, drop the gun. Come on! Drop it! You talking to me? Yeah. Wait a minute. Let the asshole eat the rice first. No, no, you drop the gun first. No, 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 no. Let him eat first. Sigam get on! Better eat it, asshole. He means it. He's him, Sigam. He's him, Sigam. Sigam, Sigam, Sigam. Come on. Sigam, Sigam, Sigam. Sigam, Sigam, Sigam. That's better. Much better. Hmm? Hmm. That scene would define me in high school. I was known for going around school screaming, Apologize to the Weiss right now! Apologize to the Weiss right now! Yeah, I'm, I'm normal. Really. Yeah. There are certainly more than a couple of other memorable scenes that make A Better Tomorrow special from both an action and emotional standpoint that you'll just have to watch for yourself. A Better Tomorrow 2 is more than a worthy successor to its big brother, and in my opinion is in some ways even better and more over the top than the original. In the end, A Better Tomorrow 1 and 2 are simply exceptional pieces of cinema that should be seen by everyone who loves the action genre. Some might argue that this is not John Woo's most stylistic film, but in my opinion, the story elements combined with the action are what make it so special, and one that you got to see. Oh. 